Not long ago, the Tesla Model 3 didn't qualify for the full IRS 7,500 incentive, but Tesla, I believe, was able to use Chile and Australia to make sure it qualifies, which it now does for the full 7,500 incentive. Now, here is how Tesla actually pulled this off. Tesla share price just went up quite a lot. Stock price just went up quite a lot. It's at a recent high of the last three, four, five months. And a lot of people are wondering, why is it? Why? What's going on with Tesla? Well, here is one example, in my opinion, of why investors are saying, yeah, even though Tesla's price to earnings multiple is insane compared to so-called other automotive companies, we all know Tesla is not just an automotive company though, but their ability to pivot like this is unmatched. There's just no other automotive company, in my opinion, other than maybe BYD, that can pivot like this, this fast. In fact, I'm still in disbelief that Tesla did this, pulled this off within a matter of weeks. How did they make this work? Well, here's how. Here's how Tesla went from not getting the battery incentive in the US to being able to fully qualify. Now, Tesla Model 3 was excluded from the full incentive of 7,500 because the batteries come from CATL, primarily sourced from China. However, now, when you buy a Model 3, you get the $7,500 tax credit, meaning the price of a Model 3 is $32,500 US dollars for the majority of buyers, but a lot of people will get it a lot cheaper than that because of additional EV credits, depending on where they're from. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and hey, big shout out and thank you to every single one of you who has supported myself and my in particular supported Shanna this year she's she's very very grateful to every one of you she wants me to tell you that so I thought I'd just pass it on to you and yeah she's lost a lot of weight probably too much weight it's happening a bit too quickly that's what happens when you I think eat a vegan diet when you have um, chemo uh, it's not full-on chemo she's doing a low dose version of chemo so yeah I mean Either way, basically doctors in Australia said there wasn't a lot of chance of living beyond about 12 months. So it's, it is looking like that won't be true now. She is definitely, I think, going to last longer than that. And hopefully, hopefully she can get over this. We'll see, hey? Dealing with cancer, you've got to be pivoting all the time. And I'm, all, I'm always researching things. In fact, I'm spending too much time or have spent probably a lot of time researching different cancer cures. I don't think there's any such thing as a cancer cure, by the way, but researching all these different methods that you can use to basically get your immune system to kill the cancer. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of research, and a lot of ability to, to just pivot and think, you know what, what I knew before, it was wrong. What I knew before, and continue to learn. I think it's important to be able to pivot quickly. And that's one thing Tesla can really do fast, amazingly fast. My mind is still blown to think that they actually pulled this off. It has been confirmed. It's on the IRA website now. The Tesla Model 3, with its Chinese battery packs, does now qualify for the full 7,500 incentive. How have Tesla done this? Well, Tesla have managed to hit the 40% minimum of critical battery minerals threshold so that even the cheapest Model 3 now qualifies for the full incentive. So as you probably know, Previously, Model 3 buyers only got the, well, half of the incentive, 3,750. Now it's back to 7,500. So the other 50% of that subsidy comes if half of the battery components are produced in the United States. And at least 40% of the critical minerals that go into the production of the base Model 3's battery cells originate from a handful of countries that the US has a free trade agreement with. That's how it has to work to get the incentive, the additional 3,750. In fact, there is, there's only four brands in the United States with EVs that qualify for those incentives, those full incentives. General Motors and Tesla, and in fact, also Volkswagen are three of those four. Those, the countries that are part of the free trade agreement with the United States are Australia, Bahrain, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Israel, Jordan, Korea, Mexico, Morocco, 
Nicaragua, Oman, Panama, Peru, and Singapore. And I have a little hunch here. I think it's very likely that Australia has come to the rescue here. When I say come to the rescue, I don't really mean that literally. What I mean is, guess where a lot of the lithium that the US uses comes from? It comes from Australia, and it also comes from Chile. So basically, I believe Tesla's been able to prove that a lot of the lithium being refined in and going into Tesla's battery packs originally came from Australia and Chile, both free trade agreement countries, possibly even Canada as well. Then it goes into these battery cells, and then Tesla packages the batteries. Tesla's been able to prove to the US government the majority of the lithium, that's where it's coming from, that's where it's sourced from. Therefore, they've been able to prove that their batteries actually do qualify. Clearly, there's been a bit of argument, toing and froing, and discussing behind closed doors. And Tesla has said, no, 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 no. We got it right here. We've done the numbers and we do qualify. Now, I don't know if there's some sort of like hidden little um, parts of information that are written into the fine print in the IRA. I reckon Tesla have gone over those with a fine tooth comb and just examined the finest details to work out exactly how to make this work. But it is, in my opinion, only fair. Why do I say only fair? Well, Tesla have the most American-made vehicles in America. In fact, four of the top five most American-made vehicles in America are Tesla vehicles. In other words, they have the highest percentage of parts that are manufactured in the United States. And that even includes Tesla's EVs, which have cells made by CATL in China. The battery component requirements are in in some way are able to circumvent China, which holds the lion's share of EV battery production or critical mineral supply. So I believe that actually, as I mean, analysts are saying this, they're saying they think that somehow CATL are manufacturing these cells outside of China somehow for Tesla and then supplying them to Tesla. Now, that's just, I think, nonsensical. I don't think there's any reality or truth behind those facts. I believe the, the LFP cells are still being manufactured in China, but Tesla is able to make sure that the sourcing of the actual minerals that are going into those cells is coming from free trade partners. So Tesla has somehow either leaned on CATL over sourcing of critical minerals, making sure they're away from China, or it's been able to prove that the minerals come from free trade partners ensuring that North American assembly of enough of the base Model 3 LFP battery pack means the packs qualify. So basically, Tesla is probably doing most of the packaging of the cells themselves in North America. The IRS's new EV tax credit eligibility has just made this official too. You can see on the IRS website that all Tesla Model 3 versions qualify for the full 7,500 amount, as do all Tesla Model Ys. Next year, however, things will change. The US government will up the battery raw materials percentage eligibility. So Tesla has probed the White House about building a lithium iron phosphate battery factory in the US with CATL in Texas. Now, Tesla will build the factory Obviously, CATL will license them the technology, the same thing they're doing for Ford. And then basically, Tesla will pay CATL some sort of small licensing fee. Obviously, CATL will basically be giving Tesla their technology or licensing it to them. I think it makes a lot of sense to do this from CATL. Now, it's very unlikely the US government will let CATL have any ownership in this factory. Same thing will apply to Ford. Ford are doing the same thing. They're licensing CATL's LFP battery technology, and CATL might as well take advantage of this situation because I don't see how they have much choice. CATL know that basically Tesla and Ford and other companies have no choice, but they manufacture batteries in the United States. They need to qualify for these incentives. It doesn't make financial sense for them not to do so. So that'll be the strategy that they'll that Tesla and Ford will use going forward lithium iron phosphate batteries, but they won't be standard lithium iron phosphate batteries. Here's the key. They will be the more affordable by 5% approximately LMFP batteries. In other words, lithium iron phosphate batteries with more manganese content, which will be, enable the batteries to have a higher energy density, use less lithium and be cheaper by industry ex analysts say around 5%. And actually, in fact, Goshon High Tech says approximately 5%. If you actually do the sums on this, 
higher energy density batteries that are 5% cheaper to produce, being manufactured in the United States, which qualify for the battery minerals incentives, mean it's a win-win. I think it's a win for everyone here, consumers and for Tesla. And also, of course, for CATL. Hey, they've done the work. They've worked out the right battery chemistry. They've worked out how to make this work. So, I mean, they deserve to get some sort of payment out of this as well. So when you stack these incentives, 7,500 with EV purchase incentives like those in Colorado, Portland, Oregon, California, and other states as well, the price of a, an electric car, a Tesla Model 3 and a Model Y, the actual upfront price is on parity with gasoline powered vehicles. In fact, I think it's cheaper if you compare vehicles spec for spec. However, long-term ownership costs are far lower. Resale values will be far better. And now EVs have just become that much more compelling in the US. This is an amazing time. Things are changing at a rapid pace. And Tesla sales, I believe, will have a big kick over the next six months globally. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.